hitting record now. Okay, so this uh, video is going to be on uh, transcending loneliness and aloneness. I think that's quite topical uh, in the current global situation. Um, so that lots of people probably feeling <clears throat> lonely or al aloneness. So one of the main things, and I, you know, I always listen to people. If someone says I'm feeling lonely, then you see one of the dominant aspects of there is it's a feeling or an energy, you know, like oh I need I need a hug or something. I need some companionship. So that feeling, <clears throat> yeah, I, I would um, one of the tools I'd use on the feeling is what I call feel the feelings. So I just sit sit down. And actually, it's a bit like drug withdrawal. You can see, you can, you can treat uh, loneliness like a drug withdrawal. Then the dependency on people to not feel lonely. So you go, okay. So I know I'm going to bring up more more feelings by cutting contact with people for a whole day. Let's say, you know, not seeing someone for a whole hour. So that will that will then bring up the ego pain, the attachment pain. Uh, and even more loneliness. It'll be like you, you're, uh, I'm opening up the door on the withdrawal. And I'll just say to my ego, look, I'll never let you see another person for the rest of your life. You're just going to sit in this room. Either you transcend the loneliness, feel it all out, go through the withdrawal, or no more human beings for you. So that kind of like pretend visualization to my ego. So it will sometimes open up the door on even more loneliness. So, um, uh, I, you know, having a have a caveat, I mean, I'm not trying to push people into huge negativity, but if there's an intuition, you can handle it, handle the feelings. Um, so I'll try and, you know, provoke my ego into bringing up the feelings of withdrawal from loneliness and, and dependency on humans to feel okay. Um, okay, so I'll, I'll, I'll sit with that. And how do you do, how do you use the field feelings on the loneliness? Well, you just sit with the, the loneliness and go, it's actually an energy. And I don't need to be scared of this energy, which my ego is labeling lonely or aloneness. I'm just gonna be with it. And then I'll have, I'll have thoughts from my ego going, no, you need to see someone. It's not, not healthy for you or something like that. It will start saying like, you, you need connection. So I'll go, no, don't, don't label or make a story about this energy, just be with it. You know, uh, I can share just my general experience. When I'm with these energies, they eventually dissolve, but some of them can last for quite a long time, even days or weeks or months. So just being with that, um, this, let's shall we call it the um, the repressed uh, energy cylinder of all the loneliness where I've used people just so that I don't feel alone. Um, so sitting with that, and maybe today I can only do like five hours or half an hour or 10 minutes. But every day I sit with that energy and don't make a story or label it, it it's dissolving away until that energy can, will eventually dissolve into nothing. So that's one, one, uh, one way of transcending the energy. And if, if you just did that only, just kept setting the feeling every time it's experienced and don't label or make a story and be with it until it's all emptied out, then you will transcend loneliness, never experience loneliness again. The other way is the observer. So uh, you, you can understand this by the languaging that's happening. So the languaging then is uh, on self inquiries. I feel lonely. There's a me or my little ego is feeling lonely. It's not had enough contact. So that's, that's a duality or a polarity or a separation or a, something that I call me or something that's saying it's me in time, location, and thoughts, and uh, saying that it's having the feeling of loneliness or aloneness. So there's two things one can do with the observer or the witness. So one is just go, it just depends where you are on your spiritual journey, but one is just to go, okay, there's loneliness here, but is there something here that's witnessing the loneliness? Is the witnesser or the observer, can I, uh, uh, is the observer of loneliness lonely? Or is the observer or the witnessing of that which is alone experiencing aloneness? Is the witnesser suffering aloneness or loneliness? So either one is identified or in the, lo the loneliness or the aloneness, or one is that which is witnessing or observing um, or watching, if you like, however, however it is, the, the loneliness. Now, if one flips into the observer, sometimes the loneliness can suddenly collapse it's seen that it's an object if you're not, you know, just like 
uh, if you're not uh, identified or enmeshed with the object, then the, the clear observer is not lonely and that, that collapses the illusion of loneliness. Uh, or just keep going, or if the observer seems to be lonely, is there an observer of the lonely observer? And is that observer lonely? So usually the, if, the, if there's a witnessing of loneliness and the witnesser is lonely, then see if there's another witnesser of the witnesser and see if that witnesser is identified with the loneliness or not. So in that way, you can start dissolving uh, the experience of loneliness or aloneness. The other thing is you might become aware of programs or thoughts or, or the ego keeps saying thing like, um, your mother told you if you don't get married and have some kids before you're 70, you're just gonna be alone and probably have a plant to keep you company or something like that. It's usually a black cat, isn't it? That keeps you company uh, when you're sort of 70 years old. But anyway, so, um, so, okay, so then I'm aware, and, oh, I've probably got a program or limiting belief, which is making me feel lonely or that I should feel lonely. I've got this program in the background. Yes, my mother said, like, if you're not married before the age of <clears throat> 30, I mean, I'm, what am I, 51 now? If you're not, you're going to be lonely and just have plants to keep you, keep, look after you in your old age or something. So I definitely need to cancel. So I could, I could just do some research. What are the beliefs around loneliness? What are my programs? What parental programs, cultural programs, society programs? What am I holding in mind that I can cancel? Because I, I'm infinite. I'm, the infinite is not subject to limited programs, but as long as I hold these programs from my parents, from society, from groups, uh, from TV, unless I cancel everything, I will be subject to them. The power of belief is, you know, more more stronger than you can affect. If I believe something completely, then it has great power. So I can cancel those. So you probably can use everything, feel the feelings, go to the observer and cancel any beliefs and keep doing it until, uh, lo you, what I find usually with this, if it's a big vat of aloneness, aloneness, with the cancelling of beliefs, with the feeling, the feelings, with the observer, if you keep doing that, I'll have pockets of loneliness every now and then, but they'll become less intense and less frequent until it feels like one day it disappears not to return. Uh, so it's like that has been just cancelled and felt out and observed until it just disappears. Okay, I'm going to click.